Hello, today we're going to be talking about quartiles. <clears throat> okay, now what are quartiles? L let's suppose I have my data and I'm going to divide the data into four pieces. Okay, since I'm dividing the data into four pieces, okay, we divide them into quarters, hence the word quartiles. Okay, so this is my data. I divide it in half, and you know the halfway point is called the median, I'll abbreviate MED. Okay, and I divide it uh, each half into half. So I've <coughs> divided my data into four pieces. So you have the lowest point, which is the min, the highest point is the max, the center is the median, you have the first quartile and the third quartile. Okay, the median is also known as the second quartile. Okay, now Q1 Q1 which is the first quartile is also known as what percentile? Well how much of the data is here? Okay, if I've divided the data into four pieces and these are equal pieces, I know it doesn't look like it here that's going to be 25 percent, that's going to be 25 percent, that's going to be 25 percent, and this is also 25 percent, okay? And what percentile is it? Well, if you remember the definition of percentile, <coughs> percentile means that percent of the, the point and that percent of the data is below that point. So how much of the data is below Q1? 25 percent. So Q1 is the 25th percentile. What about Q2, the median? Well, what percent of the data is below this point? 25 and 25, 50. So Q2, which is the median, is also known as the 50th percentile, and Q3 is 75th percentile. Okay. So, these numbers together, the min, Q1, median, Q3, and the max are known as the five number summary. Okay? And I'm, I think you've already watched a video about the five number summary. Okay? Let's talk about something called the interquartile range. Okay? The interquartile range is abbreviated IQR. And what is the interquartile range? It is Q3 minus Q1. Okay? So it, it is this right here. The 75th percentile minus the 25th percentile. Q3 minus Q1. Okay? And how do we define outliers? Okay? Outlier is any point. that is uh, above Q3 by more than 1.5 times the interquartile range, okay? Or any point that is below Q1 by more than 1.5 times the interquartile range, okay? So let's do an example. Here I have some data and this is um, just some random data. I have 2, 10, 12, 13, 3, 16, 15, 13, and 28, okay? So let's, cal let's use the calculator. To so first thing you want to do is put the data into the calculator. So we know how to do that. We can go to stat edit okay and I want to put my data into L1 list 1 so I'm just going to put the data in one by one okay. 
Okay, so I've put in nine pieces of data and that little nine right there tells you that um, that's the ninth piece of data. Okay, so to calculate the five number summary, you go to stat, go over to calculate, calc, one variable stats, and we want to do one variable, whoops, stat, calculate, <clears throat> one variable statistics. And we want to do one variable statistics on L1. So I'm going to hit second one. And since L right there it's blue, so I need to make it blue by hitting second. That lets the calculator know that I want to compute one variable statistics on list one. You hit enter, and you have your results right there. So you have the mean, standard deviation, which we'll talk about later. N, lowercase n is your sample size, minimum and Q1, medium, Q3, and max, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's calculate, <clears throat> excuse me, let's calculate outliers using this information, okay? So, 2, 6.5, oops, 2, 6.5, 13, 15.5, And 28. That is my five number summary. I've just written it so I can use it easily. Okay. And I want to calculate the interquartile range, which again is Q3 minus Q1. So that's 15.5 minus 6.5, which is 9. And then I want to calculate 1.5 times the interquartile range. So that's 1.5 times 9 and 1.5 times 9 is 13.5. Okay? Or you can use your calculator. You don't have to do it in your head. Okay, 13.5. An outlier is any point greater than Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Here, 1.5 times the interquartile range is 13.5. Q3 is 15.5. So that's 15.5 plus this, which is 13.5. And that is 29 or any point that is less than Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, okay? Q1 is 2, 2 minus 13.5 is some negative number, so it's negative 11.5, okay? So any number less than negative 11.5 or greater than 29 is going to be an outlier. In our data set, we don't have any number that's an outlier, no number greater than 28 or less than less than zero, effectively. You can use the calculator. Um, let's make a box plot, and the box plot will show you if there are any outliers. So to make a box plot, you go to second stat, I'm um, sorry, second stat plot, okay? So make sure you hit second to get stat plot. And I want to use plot one. Plot one is on, okay? And then I want this graph right here okay this is a modified box plot and this one is a regular box plot you see the little dots right there that tells you that it'll show you the outliers and the outliers will show up as dots in this graph um, you won't see any outliers okay so we chose this one and my data is in L1 and I've put the numbers in one by one okay then you want to exit from there, second so quit, and then hit zoom and go down to number nine. Okay, you can just hit zoom nine as well, but I want you to see that nine is zoom stat. Okay, and we don't see any dots, do we? That means that we don't have any outliers in this data set. Okay, let me do something. Let me go back to my data set and add a really big number. Okay. Supposing I didn't know what the outliers were, okay? And let me add something like 100, okay? 
Now when I go back and try to do a modified box plot, it's already set up, right? I'm going to hit zoom 9. Now you can see I have outliers. If you hit trace, so your min is 2, I have my Q1, I have Q, my median, Q3, and then it gives you some X values, right? It's not telling you that's the max. It's saying that's one X value, that's another X value, that's an outlier, and now my max is 100. Now that's an outlier. So when I add the 100, then I have two more, then I have two outliers, okay? So I, I hope that helps you um, with quartiles and um, outliers.